Simplex cable is one fiber, 900 micron tight buffered with Kevlar strength members, and jacketed for indoor use. The jacket is usually 3 mm in diameter. Duplex fiber cable is simply two of this joined with the thin web. It's used mostly for patch cord and backplane applications, but zip cord can also be used for desktop connections. Distribution cable is also called compact building cable. It packages individual 900 micron buffered fiber, reducing size and cost when compared to breakout cable. The connectors may be installed directly on the 900 micron buffered fiber at the breakout box location. Distribution cable is small in size and used for short, dry, conduit runs, riser and plenum applications. The fibers are double buffered and can be directly terminated. But because their fibers are not individually reinforced, these cables need to be broken out with a breakout box or terminate inside a patch panel or junction box. Breakout cable is made of several 3mm jacket simplex cables bundled together. This is a strong rock design, but is larger and more expensive than the distribution cables. It is suitable for conduit runs, riser and plenum applications. Because each fiber is individually reinforced, this design allows for quick termination to connectors and does not require patch panels or boxes. Breakout cable can be more economic where fiber count isn't too large and distance not too long because it requires so much less labor to terminate. Gel field loose tube cable are composed of several fibers together inside a gel field small plastic buffer tube which are in turn wound around a central strength member and jacketed, providing a small high fiber count cable. Gel field loose tube cable is designed to endure outside temperatures and high moisture conditions. The fibers are loosely packaged in gel field buffer tubes to repel water. Recommended for use between buildings that are unprotected from outside elements. Loose tube cable is restricted from inside building use, typically allowing entry not to exceed 50 feet. It can be used in conduits, strung overhead, or buried directly into the ground. Since the fibers have only a thin buffer coating, they must be carefully handled and protected to prevent damage. Dry loose tube cable eliminates the gel filler of traditional loose tube style cables with super absorbent polymers. This type of cable is a completely dry cable, offering easy handling and very good durability for a broad range of applications. By eliminating messy gels and filling compounds, the dry loose tube cable can streamline cable handling and installation. The figure 8 loose tube fiber cable is designed for aerial installations with demanding loading conditions. An integrated, extra high strength, stranded steel messenger offers strength and corrosion resistance. The figure 8 cable also helps save on time and money with rapid one-step installation. Figure 8 cable can easily be separated between the fiber and the messenger. Armored cable can be used for rodent protection in direct barrel if required. It can be installed in ducts, underground conduits, aerial or direct buried. All dielectric self-supporting ADSS cable is today's high-performance choice for long-span aero application, up to a thousand meters. This cable is engineered for zero fiber strain, requires no pre-installed messenger, and is quickly installed in a single pass, normally without interrupting service.